I'm Emily Laverick, Marketing Director at Built ID and Vice Chair of the CPA Next Gen Committee. We're here today at White Red Architects to speak with founders Jesus, Joel and Dickie about making architecture more accessible to the community. And it's a topic that I'm very passionate about myself as I work in community engagement. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to hear what everyone has to say. As it wasn't, it wasn't a plan actually to begin with, but uh, we're in the space behind us here actually in a conventional office and this uh, storefront came up and we thought that would be a good opportunity to get more involved with the community to be on the screen. Yeah, and we wanted to show part of our process really, like our little model of stuff in the short front and have people looking in and engaging with it and actually we had our, our moment fulfilled and actually a, a dad with his little baby was pointing in and looking at their models and people ask about the just changes. Like, just like they're in there. So yeah, so it's really, really nice. Yeah, we, we've been here for, uh, for a few years uh, now in this same street, and um, I think it's the fringe, and you'd be surprised about the uh, intense community and you know people and everything that's going on, and being here just makes you more aware of that, and your neighbors and what's going on, so yeah. that's, been, that's been really pleasant. Well, I think the main thing is about showing what it is about, and that's why we, we feel that's important to show the process, and that's what we're trying to do with the space, you know, with the like, strip. It's really nice that actually a uh, local resident on her daily commute pops her head in and says, oh, I love seeing your models, and my son's interested in architecture. We can set up some work experience for him to learn a little bit more about the process. It feels nice to be able to, to show off what we're doing engage. Yeah, I think, I think proper shop front, all glass, all the models kind of being products in the window um, has made us, people have dropped in and asked lots of questions about what we're doing, so it's clearly kind of working and uh, as we open up, more and more people are in town are open to, to do a few more events and, and to sort of open that dialogue up further. Well, there will be an element of convincing people to come back to the office. So uh, those soulless spaces are just not going to work. You need to bring something else, something that is related to the space, the space um, the office is, is sitting on. I think, I mean, the, the major element is that we're going to have to incorporate collaboration zones and spaces to allow people working from home, working from the office, to engage with each other and have that flexibility and those areas to actually engage and, and collaborate. Uh, I think that's going to really encourage the, the efficient space of the, the, you know, the production and square, square meter which is that's needed for offices. Yeah, and I think the, uh, the space we have now is, is, is big enough at the moment, but if we grow in the future, it might, it might be nice to quite take another storefront perhaps, so that you can have different teams working together in different ways. Uh, in different parts of town, so more fragmented, people can work close to where they live at times, um, so greater flexibility. We've had a really great morning at White Red Architects, thanks to Joel, Dickie and Jesus for having us. I think you can see with their open storefront they've enabled architecture and the community to work more closely together. Stay tuned for more content on how we can make the built environment more accessible to our communities.